hope. I'm a survivor of cancer and a new immigrant to Canada. I'm living with my two young sons and their happiness is very important for me. My husband had to return to Iran soon after we arrived and I had to manage everything by myself. I found out that immigration was harder than I could have imagined. My biggest problem is learning a different language. I miss my family, especially my parents. I miss my home. I miss my close friends. These hard situations make me stronger and I choose to live with hope. I decide to enjoy the rest of my life. Unfortunately, I recently lost my dear young brother and I miss him very much. He was very kind and helpful. He loved my sons and entertained them. He was a very funny guy and used to take care of all the family. His name was Omid and it means hope. Instead of telling my sad story, I prefer sharing my valuable experience with you. I often think about questions like these. How can we save our energy to be strong enough and do well? How can we enjoy our life and be helpful and useful? How can we pass through out of hard situation and solve our problems? How can we manage our stress and anger to become calm and wise? I know sometimes life become real nightmare and we can't overcome it. We don't know what to do and become sad and hopeless. But we have to be very strong to get through this. We need to learn some skills which help us to see the world in a different way. We should stop negative things and try to save our energy and be positive. I go for long walks, enjoy the sky with beautiful clouds, mountains, rivers, trees and gorgeous flowers. I take some photos and collect some leaves, shells or small pieces of stones. When I was younger in Iran, my mother taught me to make collage and crafts. The skills that my mother taught me are the tools I use in my life today. When I feel sad, upset and angry from something, I sit at a comfortable place and write my real feelings. It helps me think more clearly and feels good. Every day when I wake up, I see a new day with new opportunities. I start my day writing whatever I like. I write just for myself. Sometimes I start to draw lines and shapes. Perfect doesn't matter. I do it to become relaxed and calm. It has amazing results. For me, art is best path to meditation and therapy. For example, the sound of music is a miracle and can change your mood completely. Do you ever dance and sing just for fun? Oh, it's amazing. I visited many festivals and events in Toronto where people were singing dancing and enjoying their time. It is very important to live in the moment and focus on positive things. I found out that if I am happy and healthy, then I can live better, be helpful and useful. Volunteering and helping people teaches me to understand and like others as well as myself. 
These things makes my life more exciting. I can improve my English skills, find very good friends and connection, and a part-time job. I have a goal for myself, and every day I take one step toward it. مامان بابا خیلی دوستتون دارم و به وجودتون افتخار می کنم. نگران من نباشید. راه زندگی کردن رو خوب به من یاد دادید. متشکرم. تا گندم یک خوش باشیم بیا تا آب یک رو 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 خونه باشیم یکی صوفی شوی من در خرابا یکی جارو کشمه می می خونه باشیم